Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Medieval Dynasty, shall we? Continuing our complete beginner's guide, and, well, it's a new day. We are going now to focus on building up our settlement, maybe even getting to the point where we can recruit some new folk into the fold. So what would that take? We raised up our farming, practiced that a little bit, and now, if we want... Mm -hmm. Let's see. Well... We could... Build... Mm. No, we don't want to build any more farms. The main thing we need to build is another house. So let's plan out where this house should be. I like to put it by the well, okay? And it doesn't really matter too much in the sense that you can just um, reorient things. We cleared out this space for the farm, but that doesn't mean we were going to put a farm here. So I'm going to go ahead and actually just put this house right there. I'm going to place it. And then we can select our hammer and go ahead and try to build this. Now it's going to take stone. Let me put this torch away. And let's go about the business of gathering stone. We need to level up as well. Life will become so much easier for us. Wow, there's stones everywhere. When we can see these stones and sticks and things uh, more clearly. And that just comes by doing. All right, so we're just going to... Oh, we can pick up a bunch. Pick up that stone. Pick up another stone. And remember, you can piecemeal add these. You can see I'm actually weighing a little bit too much so my character was doing that constipated move and a badger flew out of there trying to make its home into the foundations of our new little house and well we can't allow that speaking of that oh man there's stones everywhere this is so great oh i gotta pick up as many of these as possible i always love to gather stones but then the problem becomes uh that i can't carry it because it starts to weigh too much now, we are going to use a bunch of these right here, so this will be fine. Okay, and we need logs for this next part. So I'm actually going to... You can see how my character is like, you know... He can barely move because of all he's carrying. I am going to just go inside our house, open up our chest, and I'm going to dump... I'm going to go to my side. I'm going to dump all these stones onto the other side. So you can actually just kind of go over to uh, crafting and then select the stones. And I'm just going to hold the button down and put them all over there. I'm also going to put this plank in here. We don't need it at the moment. Weighs a lot. All of this fur too. I forgot that we had gathered this. This is good, but we don't need to carry it. It just weighs a bunch. So I always like to, sometimes it's hard to know how much things weigh of, of different categories and types in the game. So just as you browse around, you know, you can see like this fertilizer even weighs more than I want. So I'm going to put it away and these sticks are starting to accumulate, but we're going to need those immediately for building. So it's not a big deal. Uh, the bucket of water has weight. So you could put it down if you don't want to carry it. That's fine. All of these mushrooms I have are super heavy. And to be honest, um, uh, this Roasted meat is actually heavier than I want. So what you can do is select transfer and I can just put, I can right trigger and just put all but like two over there just to relieve some um, space. And, oh, that was roasted meat. This is my dried meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put all but like, there you go. Fantastic. And anything that we're not using, the spears I want to keep, of course. Uh, the sickle we don't need, so we're just going to put it away. And now we have some more space, and we can get logs. So I'm just going to go ahead and select our axe and chop down some trees. But I'm actually going to chop down these kind of birch trees that are close to the house and just start clearing out some more space. All right, um... Sometimes I'm playing Valheim, and I need to remember, no, we need to use our shovel. There we go. Oh, 
We got a ton of sticks and... Oh, that's right. Pick that up. Pick it up. Great. And then I'm just going to switch over quickly to my hammer and just put this on there. There we go. To relieve some of the weight. And you see I'm getting hungry. Let's go check our trap in a moment. Boy, I took a backhand swing at that. That was pretty nifty. And the shovel is great just for getting that extra log for you. I'm going to chop all of these down while I'm working. I'm starting to stink really badly. We can just dip in the river, though. All of this field work. But to be honest, we're not trying to court anyone right now. So it's not the end of the world. Mm, I might not be able to get that without, uh, unless I clear these logs out of the, out of the way first. Give me that. We're going to get overburdened pretty quickly, and I don't mind. Doesn't matter if the log is skinny like that. There, a log is a log, and ooh, look at my stride now. I can barely move, but I'm going to do it. I can't run. I can just be amazing. Now... If this drives you crazy, which it's, it's ridiculous, it's too slow, you can just go into your inventory, pick up a log, and uh, drop it, and just, just drop one. And now we should be able to move a little bit easier. Which we are, and how about that? Yep, go ahead. Keep going. Mm-hmm. One of the things that's nice about this game is, like, you see my stamina bar. It does go down, but it really only suffers if you're running or fighting. It's not like um, you have to worry too much about like not being able to build because it fills back up it's not like a stardew valley or a graveyard keeper where it just is down and it doesn't regenerate unless you eat food or sleep or something i have so many sticks so i'm just putting them all on that i can Now, even when we finish this house, we're not going to go immediately try to recruit someone to live here. I made that mistake in my Let's Play of this game. Um, and yes, they'll come live here, but then the problems um, are, number one, that you have to feed them and get them something to drink, okay? So we need buckets so that they can get their own drink. And then also, you have to have something for them to do. So we need to build uh, a laboring station for them first. And then we can recruit them and hopefully have food and things ready for them and water. And then we won't have to worry about taking care of them as much. A lot of these will be really easy. We just need to tap in some logs. Um... Man, how much? Uh, now let's build the rest of this before we do the roof. I'm wondering how much grass I read I need to get, rather. I'm getting hungry, though. So let's quickly run over and check out our trap. Just see what that's doing. And yes, there is a rabbit inside. Fantastic. 
you can see it's about to break. Like, this trap only has maybe one day left in it. I'm going to arm it and let it go. We'll just make another one when we need it. And we're going to go into our inventory and select food. And I'll just eat a roasted meat. Uh, okay. I'll drink some water. I'll drink another drag of water. The condition, by the way, of the food, I believe, also reflects, like, how long it will be fresh. And we don't even have to worry about that at this moment. I'm going to eat a dried meat and a roasted meat. And you can see, um, this is why bread is so powerful. We also have this vegetable soup, which we don't need to eat right now. Um, but the dried meat and the roasted meat, you need to actually consume a lot of it. But for the time being, we're okay. Now, let's just get my shovel. Got a log right here. And a log right here. And one right here. So now, switch over to the hammer. This house is just coming along. And, yeah, I have a little bit of straw, but we're going to need much more straw and logs. All right, no problem. Put up a stick right there. Let's go. Now, something I'm not sure about, and I'll test with you, is I didn't settle this far down the river before. So I'm wondering if there's any reed. Oh, there is. This is so much more convenient. I used to have to run really far to get reed, but there's reed just for right here for us. So this is another advantage of living past that second bridge, as somebody recommended to me, which is that you have reed, like, basically right at your doorstep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. And look at that. We just unlocked the hunting lodge, which is what we wanted. So now that we can build the hunting lodge, um, we're going to build this. We leveled up survival too. And this is key. I'll show you this in just a second. This is awesome. Now that we can build the hunting lodge, that's going to be the main labor unit that I build first. I like to have the hunting lodge first. Building um, the place where they can gather wood and lumber for you is tremendous. Um, but for me, what I really like is having food. Like, if you send a hunter out, they will just be able to basically gather... Um, I'll take that stick and a stone. They will be able to hunt rabbits and stuff for you and just get you meat. So you can just not do that. You can automate that part of your day. And I like that. All right, let me roll over here and see how we're doing. Oh, we need the shovels for sure. Get these out. Mm-hmm. How about that? Now I'm going to switch to my hammer. And the hammer's about to break, but it's no problem. We just make another one. With these, like, low-level tools, it doesn't even matter. It's like, whatever. All right, there's the attic. Uh, we're out of logs already, but we can start putting up the thatch on the roof. Oh, and the hammer has broken. And, oh, we need another hammer. My God, man, we do. All right. I need a log and a stick. Well, I've never been so insulted in my life, but we need to get these trees away from the house anyway. See if we can get a two for one. Oh, run away. Almost got clocked by the tree. There, you see my stamina actually did go down. Are 
Right, give me all these logs. Heck yeah. Get. Uh, let's go ahead and handcraft a hammer. Oh, and you know what? Before I forget, let's go to our skills. And we leveled up survival. Okay, and this gives us bum, 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 survival sense, which is so good. You can sense sticks, stones, mushrooms, feathers, and herbs. I recommend it thoroughly. Watch this. If I now push down to see my sense, I can... You see how the sticks and the stones and everything just highlights? It's so nice for gathering. It's... I give it my full endorsement. All right, now I need to move inside. I'm not moving very quickly. Um, oh, let me go ahead and equip my new hammer to number three. And I guess I can equip a, a knife right there. And do I not have a spear equipped? That seems odd. There you go. I need to make more spears. But not right now. I'm going to trot home. And work on this hammer time. Uh-huh. Put that thatch up. We're doing so well. Tremendous. Okay, so now... We just need to finish that roof, which requires some logs. I'm going to eat. Um, oh, skills. What else do we level up? Oh, we, we got two survival points. Well, how about that? All right. So um, our choices here, we could take survivalist, 10% slower loss of food and water, headstrong, alcohol resistance, faster movement in water, um, better resistance or more experience for these activities um hmm boy i like survivalist just so you have to eat less and drink less so i'm going to take it and speaking of eating let's go back to our inventory and chow down we're so hungry that we can eat this rye bread and it fills us up entirely. And then we can pick up this last log and now finish the house. I'm actually also going to just shovel these two stumps because we're going to need more in just a moment. And I'll show you. You're carrying too much. Well, of course. All right, let's get that hammer out. And let's move over here. There we go. Got it? Okay. So now we have a second house. Now, another thing you can do with a house, um, first of all, you can click on the signboard to manage who lives here. Okay? And it says there are zero out of three people. Now, don't let this mislead you. Strangers will not move in together. Okay? So just be aware of that. You need one house for each person generally until they get married. But in this chest, if you put inside the chest food for the people to eat and water for them to drink, they will use it, and they will just use it when they need it, okay? Now, I think they can use the well if there's buckets in the well, but I can't recall that exactly. Um, craft. Yeah, and if you want to craft a bucket, you can see that um, you need an empty bucket to do that, or a water skin. So those are things that we want to get them, but we don't have it yet. Now, next on the list is, let's build another structure, which is for hunting. And we're going to build this hunting lodge one. And I'm just going to put a hunting lodge right here. It doesn't really matter. I like to just have things close together and put it here, and we can start building. And it's just a place of work for somebody to go to. 
So we're just going to put this in or start to. We need stones, but look at this. We can just hold down and look for stones. Now there is a stone hiding there. Um, and sometimes it's not easy to get. You have to kind of pick up the stuff on top of it, but we got it. And let's say, hey, we're looking for stones. Stones are obviously these little round guys. There's no color distinction. Everything looks the same. But Oh, man, look at all these stones. This is great. Oh, there's a bunny coming right at us if, if I was paying attention. It was a golden opportunity to get food. Here I am just wandering around idly collecting stones. All right, let's get our hammer out. And oh, hammer, where are you? Yep, it was out. By the way, it disappears. Whatever you're building will disappear when you don't have the hammer out. And we just unlocked a woodshed, which is phenomenal. So again, by doing, these things will start to unlock for us. Now, if I go to building and I say extraction, um, the woodshed one allows people to go gather logs and sticks and make firewood and planks. So this is the next labor building. I like to have... Um, this first, the farming, and then the woodshed. It's tremendous. Come on, maple tree. All right, tremendous. Give me all these logs. We need everything. And then give me a, a shovel, yes. Heck yeah. And then let's go ahead and hammer. Make sure you're hammering on the right part. You see how I'm hammering on the foundation? You have to kind of move sometimes until it's aiming. And it says framing and it tells you, you know, what supplies you need. All right, we got there. Heck yeah. Our axe broke, sadly, but we've got a bunch of logs here. And we can put up basically all of these to work, even if we can't move. We'll have to make a new axe. Actually, let's make a new axe first. Oh, it doesn't even take a log. That's great. I like to make the tool first so that um, I don't use it up building something and then need that tool to go harvest more or something disastrous like that. Mm -hmm. Looking good. I love the sound effect when it finishes. So good. Man, we are flying. All right, great. Now we just need to cut down some more trees. So let's go to our inventory. And you can see the reason, basically, that we got the woodshed was as a reward for getting 100 building technology points, which it says on the right, develop this technology by extracting activities and building structures. So doing any kind of extraction and building things is leveling this up. So we also get the opportunity to purchase the scheme for like barrels and gates and chests and things like that. So super awesome. Again, that's a little out of my price range for now, but, you know, we'll work on making some serious cash later. Okay, the stumps are gone. And I'll pick up this stick. And we'll just go ahead and... Oh, <laughs> I forgot about that. Let me go to my inventory and select the tool, and we will assign our axe to number two. And that is the wrong button, but... Here you go. 
I'm gonna just start working on these trees. You can plan this so it's like the trees that you're cutting down aren't just necessarily the ones that are closest by, but also where you might want to build new structures. So you can start clearing out like a circle for your whole little settlement. And this is why you want to settle in a flat area. Like further up the hill, the ground becomes a little bit more uh, difficult to work with. So this is great for just having plenty of space, being close to the water and the road and, and the towns somewhat. All right. So now we're going to go in here. I like to work sometimes from the inside and we can just start bashing this in. We can just install all of the uh, logs that are going to be required here. Okay. Great. This just takes sticks. We're going to need some more straw, as you always do in the beginning. But because the straw is so close... It's really not that big of a deal. I'm going to use my other logs just so I don't have to carry them. And okay. How about that? So now we can actually just, we need sticks. So we can just walk around like gathering sticks. We could cut down trees because we'll need logs eventually. That's another thing. But there's so many sticks right here. And let's see any more. Oh yeah. Now you can just kind of I was, you heard me jamming and clicking the button, but you can also just hold down A and just pick things up if, as long as you move around and aim at them. All right, that's a ton of sticks that we just got, actually. Let's see how close we are. And you can look at Rasimir right now. See how dirty my shirt is? That's reflecting, it's like a visual of how filthy and nasty I am. And our hammer has broken, so we need to craft another one. And we actually have that log, but we need more sticks. No problem. You can craft things to order and have a few on hand if you want. I, don't, I think um, definitely having weapons back up is, is super helpful. And if you're traveling or something and you're not going to be home easily, then, you know... Um, be concerned about it, but what what I do is I don't carry too much on me just because um, they're heavy. All right, so we're going to go here. I need more reed for the roof, but I also can just step in the water, and you could see the cl cleanliness bar like start to move, and the deeper I go, and now I'm clean. I just took a bath. I do need a drink. That's fine. I drinking my bath water. It's a habit known for its hygiene and effectiveness and also taste. Now I have more reed than I actually need, but <laughs> as you've seen, every structure basically needs to have like this thatch kind of roof. So there's nothing wrong with getting a bunch of reed. It doesn't weigh a whole ton. You can just hold it down, and then as soon as it switches over to saying drink, then you need to move your aiming reticule and try to find some other reed somewhere. Perfect. All right, now I'm going to pick up some sticks. Uh, berries are fine, but I don't really need it right now. Boy, there's so many sticks right here. This is great. All right. Okay. Now I'm going to run back. And you see um, we've got ourselves a beautiful s starter house 
we have a house for someone to move into and now we're working on a place for them to actually work there you go the hunting lodge uh-huh and we'll go ahead and just have that get shored up and this miraculously it is done it's all done we have completed the lodge so now we could have somebody move in and be doing reasonably well um that badger is like looking at us angrily i don't think i have enough to uh craft some more spears do i i need logs for that they're usually not hostile all right now i'm going to go ahead and get this down i want some more spears anyway but i also want to start getting enough together so I can build my next structure. Boop, 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 boop. Let's see here. All right, let me go into my handcrafting and we'll go ahead and make um, a couple of spears. Genius. All right. So if I want to build something else, what I would honestly focus on building right now is the woodshed and another house. Then we could start planning for two people. But we could also see what storage we can build. And we can build resource storage and food storage. And these are uh, amazing as well. Um, because what this means is with resource storage, all non-consumable resources gathered by workers go here. So you can have them and like they will just automatically fill this up with whatever food they get. So these are nice because if, for example, you have the hunter going out, they will like collect the meat and it will go into the hunting lodge. So every day you'd have to run over to the hunting lodge and check to see in their chest what meat they got. But instead, if it's in, if you have a resource place, you could have multiple hunters and then they would just put everything in the food storage and you could go there and find everything in one place. Same thing for resource storage. So some of our other goals are going to be to go to buildings and we'd like to build um, under storage. We'd like to build a resource storage and a food storage as well as another house and um, another simple small house and a woodshed. Then once we do that, we're really, really going to get... We already have the hunting lodge. Um, we can't build anything here. Uh, as far as production goes, we can't yet build anything in this category. And as far as services, we can't do that either. So that would just help us build a little bit of everything we have and give us a great foundation for our new place. So everyone, I think this is a great start. What I'm going to do... Um, next is probably go recruit someone to live in our second house and then build the woodsman's hut and another house and then build the storage facilities. And we will really be in a place to kind of start growing and automating um, our lives so we can build our own legacy. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're continuing to find this guide series to be helpful and just give you the tools you need to enjoy this amazing game. Take care.